Hey, Dean. Hey, you guys. Good morning. Welcome back. More memories of Charlie Watts, the drummer of more than a half a century with the world's greatest rock and roll band. He was universally recognized as one of the greatest rock drummers of all time. And experts agree that he was the beat in more ways than musical that propelled the Rolling Stones for more than 50 years. Charlie Watts died peacefully at a London hospital surrounded by his family after an unspecified but termed successful medical procedure earlier this month. On August 4th, it was announced that he would not be joining the band on their pandemic postponed tour. Watts beat throat cancer in 2004, though it's not known if that is related. The always well-dressed Watts joined Mick Jagger and Keith Richards in January of 1963, exploring rock and R&B and the blues and reggae, even disco, as the bad boys of rock and roll. Their last performance in Chicago was in 2019 at Soldier's Field. I'll show you that in a second. Though the band's love of the blues often found them in small clubs around Chicago, including the Double Door in Wicker Park, the Checkerboard Lounge, the Quiet Night Kingston Mines, and also their first time recording in the U.S. at the legendary Chess Record Studios at 2120 South Michigan Avenue. Watts and the Stones recorded at Chess twice in 1964 and then once again the following year it can all be heard on the complete chess studio sessions compilation We've got some shots that are part of the bob bonus archive from the summer of 1964 at chess records where they recorded their first chicago concert right down the street at uh, airy crown theater at mccormick place on one of their sessions the great muddy water stopped by to see what the band was all about since they got their name from his song, Rolling Stone, it is said that he helped them carry their gear up the back stairs to the studio. This one's from 1978 when Charlie, Ronnie, Wood, and Keith Richards got together with Muddy Waters, Willie Dixon, Shirley Dixon, Terry Abrahamson, and Ian McLaglen. The, the last time that Charlie Watts played in Chicago was at Soldier Field in 2019 for the No Filter Tour. They performed two shows at Soldier Field in June of 2019. Watts' final performance with the Stones would be two months later in Florida. And this is how Stones frontman Mick Jagger remembered Watts on Twitter yesterday. No words, just a picture of Charlie smiling behind his drum kit during a performance. Keith Richards, also no words, posting this very poignant picture of an unoccupied drum set with a closed sign hanging off of it. Watts was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Stones in 1989. He was 80 years old and is survived by his wife of 56 years and also a daughter. Let's get a check of the weather. Hi, Paul.